tummy bites. So y'all, we just did a walk, um, we walked closer to home this time, so, because I gotta go and do my training. So, sorry, I'm dragging. I'm about to go make my shake. Oh, not my shake, my smoothie. <laughs> she don't like it, y'all, she don't like it at all. So, um, today is July 21st, um, I call myself, giving myself a cheat day over the weekend, and it, one cheat day I think turned into three cheat days, really four, because I ate that again on Monday. So, I had lost six pounds, I started on July 13th, and I started at 196. Then, by Friday, I was down to 190.6 or 0.4. And my husband came in town, and we had Chinese. That's my cheat day for every Saturday. And then Saturday was not a healthy day. I didn't eat a lot of sugar, but I ate enough that I shouldn't have eaten it. And then on Sunday, I made ribs and mac and cheese, my husband made. And then I made collard greens, um, rice, and cornbread. And fried so I, well, I bought Popeyes to go with that. So then I stepped on the scale, and I'm trying to be as. Uh, Not stepped on. Well, I mean, I'm trying to be as transparent as I can because it, it, some people make it look so easy, you know, and I realize I can't really do the cheat day. I can because I only gained um, one pound. Well, I gained, like I said, I started at 196.6 or 0.4 by Friday. Uh, and that was on the 13th. Then by Friday the 17th, I was at 190.6. And when I stepped on the scale on Sunday, or was it Monday? Which one were you talking about? When I stepped on the scale on Monday, I had gained four pounds. It's just something wrong with your body. I know. Only I can't have pound. that sugar. And I need to realize that I can't have that sugar. Even, Not even when it's just maybe a little bit. I don't know. Even doing what we're doing right now, it's still not going to help us lose weight. We're just losing calories. No. The well, ah, no. Said the ah. If you don't intake of the sugar and you all of the carbs. The wine, no, if you don't intake all the sugar and the carbs then your workouts are more effective because you're now burning fat. But if you're eating the sugar and the carbs, it's not even going to bother with your fat because it's just going to attack the sugar and the carbs before it get to trying to burn fat. So I think that's how I lost that six pounds. So, you know, I can say easy because I had moments of I was hungry. Feed me, Seymour. Um, I'm going to do like, uh, I'm going to show y'all what I have in a day. I'll probably do that today. All right. Let me go. Okay, so hey y'all, I'm back. Um this is how I start. I start by filling this up. This will probably take about 3 bottles, 16 ounce bottles of water. Um I try to, to drink 7 16 ounce bottles of water which will give me a gallon so I'm drinking like two of these a day um, inside I cut up some cucumbers and I put some mint leaves in there and um, 
that's about it. So now I'm gonna move on to making my smoothie. What you'll need is one mint sprig with the stem. And you're gonna break that apart, put it into the blender. You'll also need one cup of romaine lettuce or dark green lettuce, half a cup of baby spinach. The recipe does not call for this, but flax seeds is what I use because it helps you go to the bathroom. Three to six drops of stevia. I will also be adding half of avocado to it. So I broke up the mint leaves and you want to use the stem as well. And all of that will go into the blender. I already scooped this out. I'm just going to drop that in there. Add six to seven drops of the stevia. About this much baby spinach. Now I'm adding the romaine lettuce. Then you're gonna add one cup of water, one fourth cup of ice, normally I would measure this, but one lemon the size that I have tends to give me one fourth of the juice. And like I said, it doesn't call for the flax seeds, but I'm gonna use the flax seeds. And then we blend. If you don't like it this thick, you can add a little more water to it, or you can just blend it a little longer. This will be your breakfast. One fourth of pecans will be my snack. Water, I'll be drinking on that all day. And then I'll show you what I do for lunch. You're supposed to have like a salad with baby spinach and maybe romaine lettuce and then the Italian dressing, but I'm running short on time, so I'm subbing it out for this cucumber, and that's about it with the Italian dressing. Y'all, I needed this cup of coffee, no sugar, just stevia. My dinner was four to eight ounces of a rotisserie chicken wingettes from Sam's Club and some okra uh, seasoned well. You can have all the veggies you want. So this is the end, y'all. Thank y'all for joining me here on Tommy Bites Homestead. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe, like, comment down below, and share the video. Until next time, smooches.